Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. A plane intersects a cylinder through its axis in the shape of a rectangle. What is the radius of the cylinder such that the cylinder has maximum volume and the rectangle has a perimeter of 9 centimeters? A similar problem was asked in an international test of 17 and 18 year old students who had taken calculus with an average of only 30% answering correctly. It was one of the harder problems on the test. The test did include five multiple choice answers, but to make things challenging, I'm omitting any answer choices. Can you figure this problem out? Give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So how can we solve this problem? To get started, let's label this diagram. The top and bottom sides of the rectangle span the diameters of the circles. So their length will be equal to two times the radius of each of these circles. Next, the other sides of the rectangle span the height of the cylinder. So we'll label these lengths as H. The perimeter of the rectangle is given to be nine and that equals 4r plus 2h. We can divide both sides by 2 to get h is equal to 4.5 minus 2r. Now the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared h. We can rewrite this in terms of r if we substitute for the value of h. We then simplify this, and now we need to solve for the maximum volume. To do that, we'll take the derivative and set it equal to 0 we get a quadratic equation. We can divide both sides by pi and then factor, so there are two possible values for r. One possibility is that r is equal to zero. In this case, the volume will be equal to zero, so this must be a minimum. The other solution will be 1.5, and that's the answer. The radius is equal to 1.5 centimeters. This will be the rectangle that has a perimeter of 9 and gives a maximum volume to the cylinder. So once you set the problem up, it's pretty straightforward to solve it using calculus. But what if you don't know calculus? Well, there is a way you can solve this problem without calculus. It uses the arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality. I did a video on this and you should definitely check it out to understand why this is true. I'm just going to present this inequality and use its result for the rest of this video. So this states that for non-negative numbers x1 to xn, the arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean. Equality holds if and only if all variables are equal to each other. Now sometimes it helps to multiply both sides by n. We have the sum of n numbers is greater than or equal to n times the nth root of the product of those numbers. In this video, we're going to deal with n is equal to 3. So we have the sum of three variables being greater than or equal to 3 times the cube root of the product of those variables with the quality if and only if all variables are equal to each other. So what are the three variables we're going to use? Well, the volume is equal to pi r squared h. So it seems like we only have two variables. But we can get three variables by writing r squared as r times r and we're going to maximize the value of r times r times h, and that'll give us the maximum volume. So the other condition is we have the perimeter is equal to nine, which equals four r plus two h. We divide by two to get 4.5 is equal to two r plus h. Now, once again, we're gonna do a little trick. Two r can be rewritten as r plus r plus h. So here we have the sum of three variables, and by the am gm inequality, this has to be greater than or equal to three times the cube root of the product of these three variables. We can then divide both sides by three and then cube both sides to get 1.5 cubed is greater than or equal to r times r times h. So if we maximize r times r times h, we'll get the maximum volume. This will happen if all variables are equal to each other. So the maximum occurs if h is equal to r is equal to 1.5 
and we immediately figure out that r is equal to 1.5 is the value for the radius. What's more is we've also figured out the value of h, and we know the maximum volume will be 1.5 cubed times pi. So the AMGM method is a little bit more complicated, but it produces some very satisfying results that you can solve for all of the variables and the maximum volume pretty quickly. Thanks for watching. These math videos, available for free on YouTube, build confidence for students and inspire mathematical discovery for viewers around the world. They have over 1 million views, and the channel has over 1 million subscribers. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos and email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my merchandise on Teespring where you can grab a mug or t-shirt. You can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.